How's it going, everyone? In this week's video, uh, our good friend Dale is away, but I couldn't pass up the opportunity to do a small review on the new A7R Mark III. So what are the differences between the Mark II and the Mark III? They increase the sensitivity of the sensor up to 32,000 ISO. They've updated the processor, which allows from the 5K stream to super sample to a cleaner enhanced 4K in full frame footage. The other great feature is the clean HDMI out to a recorder. So let's start with one of the basics. It is the dual SD card slot. Previously, you had a single card slot and you're, you're unable to do backup recording. That is very unfortunate if your card were to corrupt and there goes your file. With two card slots, you're able to have backup, relay recording, and luckily for video users, you can now do proxy recording. On one card, you have your larger file, your 4K UHD file, and on the second card, you have a smaller compressed format that is easier for your computer to edit with. And then once you edit it, you just relink them in post. Some of the other upgrades are S-Log3 and Hybrid Log Gamma. A big feature that Sony is doing is implementing HLG Hybrid Log Gamma with a lot of their newer cameras. So it currently is on the FS5 and the Z150 and it's now implemented into this camera. It's a streamlined color space for HDR workflow. A welcome addition is the SNQ knob for easy access to slow and quick frame rates. A minor upgrade that is a great enhancement for video shooters is the ability to not have the viewfinder cut out when you adjust your screen. So, previously, when you looked in front of the, the viewfinder, the screen would shut down. Now, if you were to lift it up a little bit, and as if you're using the screen, and you have your, your body in front of it, it is not going to cut off. Then let's say you're an event shooter, you shoot a wedding, you're shooting something that lasts more than 50 minutes, with the old system, you had to keep swapping batteries. Well, now they're using the A9 batteries, which are 2.2 times the capacity of the old batteries. The ability to put this camera into crop mode allows you to use lenses such as the Fujinon MK series glass to really build up a cinematic package in a small form factor. Thank you all for tuning in. This was a first look at the A7R Mark III, uh, brought to you by Vistec. 